Hey, I'm Jason Kravitz back at the Esquire Live Lounge in Dad 2.0 DC 2016, and I am here with a man I'm sure you recognize, Penn Holderness. How you doing? Right on, man. Good nice to, see you. to see you. Can I tell you a really? Can tell I start me. off with a really weird story? Since no. We're... Yes, of course. Okay. This is what we're here for. So I was up in my hotel room about two hours ago, uh -huh. like getting dressed. And like, yeah, and this is what I told you it was going to be a weird story. It's a great story so and far. I, okay. I like to watch TV in the background. And okay. so I had my laptop up and I was watching Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> you were in the freaking scene. Like, so, and then I come down here and I'm like, wait a minute. I was just watching this guy. Wait a minute. You were watching me get dressed a minute a ago. Towel. And now you're at a yeah, table. You've seen me naked. Like, I have. This is like, it's not, yeah. I really no, like, so like, it was the one, it was the what's the deal with uh, child support or whatever. Like, uh, what's yeah. the deal with child support? What's custody? the deal with child support? And then you're down custody. here. Yeah. What a, like, that's my favorite show. Like, my favorite new show is Kimmy. It's great. It's, it's coming out again. Are you in season two? Oh, yeah. Awesome. A couple episodes so in season excited. two. It's okay. very fun. I know that had nothing to do with what we're supposed to do. We're not doing, talking about um, me. We're talking about you. Uh, we should talk more about you. But that was very you. nice of you yeah. to say. Um, uh, so, Penn, I know you uh, You used to work. This is what I know of uh, Penn Holderness, and we haven't spoken yet. So, um, I know you look good in a towel. That's yep. upstairs. Right. No, <laughs> I, know, um, I know that uh, uh, you used to work at uh, uh, in the news yes. business, right? Yeah. And then you left that, mm -hmm. uh, and you you became a sensation with your family by putting out a video. Was it Christmas Jam? That, was the, first one, that yeah. was the first that one. That was the first one. How did that come about? Well, my kids wouldn't sit still in a Christmas photo. Do right. you have kids? I have a kid, yes. All right, so it just, it, 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 like, it, one year we did it and it was just funny. We just took pictures of like our screaming, crying kids. Right. And then the, the next year, my wife was like, we should make a video for Christmas. And I have always been kind of a, a you know, extreme amateur songwriter, as right. it is. Um, and then, you know, I, I also have a pretty good handle on editing. That's most of what I did when I was in local news. Oh, well, you were an um, editor as well. Well, I was an anchor, but I didn't like anybody to touch my stuff. Like, if I did oh. a story, like, if I did a story, <laughs> I refused control. to control. Like, yeah, I really was a massive micromanager. Yeah. So, um, so, you know, we just took a camera and went around the city, went around our house, and kind of made it a project with our kids. Yeah. And they got into it and sort of went... They went over the top and said, let's go here, here, and here. And all of a sudden, we were kind of doing this together. It was yeah. a team, team building project. And it was, it was a few you know, months after I decided that I was going to leave the business anyway and start our own uh, production company. Mm. But uh, the video ended up getting us a lot of business and notoriety that we weren't expecting. Yeah, so what, um, kind, of, what kind of business were you going to be doing? What was your plan for yeah, the production company? That's, that's a good question. So we were going to do real estate videos. We were going to do like, really? yeah, for like DR Horton and like other companies, like you should move to this community, like really dry stuff. Really dry and stuff. And we'd already done some of them. So we were pretty good at it. We had like a foothold. Mm -hmm. And then, so that video comes out and we start getting emails from, you know, like Clorox. And we got 17,000 emails in one week. Wow. And 16,000 of them were like perverts talking about my wife. Nice. That's nice. what I'm saying. And then a thousand of them were like, you should work with us. And about 900 of those were kind of ridiculous. Like, will you come to our daughter's bar mitzvah in Texas and stuff like that? That's still a hundred but then, options. So yeah, then like a hundred of them <laughs> were like, hey, can you make these kinds of videos for other companies? And so we kind of had this baseline of people that we could talk to. Yeah. We obviously didn't work with all of them, but it was like an instant clientele list. And so we, we worked with some of them. Then we realized that as a family, we enjoyed making the videos, so if we kept making those, which everybody wanted to do, and they did well, the phones would start ringing on the other side of our business. So right. one mm -hmm. hand has been kind of washing the other. For and so a while. you've been doing those things with brands and without mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. So uh, and how many personal videos have you put out with your family now? We, well, we we do one a month, and we've been doing it for about um, as far as music. We've, done, we've been doing it for two and a half years, so like about thirty. So how old are your kids now? They're nine and six. Oh, okay. Um, so they're still uh, young enough to want to do it. That's that's true, and I don't. <laughs> and I'm so aware that 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 when that ends, we're, we'll just stop. Like a lot of the videos we do are just my wife and I kind of talking about being yeah. parents, um, yeah. and the kids are. I would I would call them sort of cameos. That's the way they like it, mm -hmm. and they're always the best parts because it's they don't know what they're doing and they're crazy. The camera's set up. I'm going right. to go act like a crazy person, and then whatever happens there, like we'll try to write that into the video if we can. Yeah. Um, but so far, like what we've done is like my daughter is getting into editing. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching her Adobe Premiere. Mm -hmm. uh, my son is really getting into photography. Like he wants to be the one who pushes record and focuses it and zooms it in. Nice. So they're they're part of the process, mm -hmm. and that, they're almost looking forward to that more than the other side. Um, yeah. But I think it's also kind of empowering them to be part of it, and that's maybe one of the reasons they haven't decided to walk up and leave. 
right? And like divorce their kids, like Dominique Morciano, like did like to like emancipate themselves and their family. <laughs> I think because they're part of the process, they they look forward to it. I'm totally aware. Like she's gonna turn 13 and be so mad at me. Probably oh, my, my son is so embarrassed about. Yeah. Well, that's not true. My son actually really likes the fact that I'm on Kimmy Schmidt. Yeah, because it's otherwise the best show ever. otherwise yeah. completely embarrassed by. Right. It. And I do this professionally, and he's completely embarrassed by me. But um, how old is he? 14. Well, he's embarrassed of everything. Remember when you were 14? Yes, like, of course. Was no, cool I don't blame him, man. Look, yeah. I can be very embarrassing. There's no doubt about it. And yeah. I use it to my advantage. I have to tell you, you know, it's like if he's not listening to me, or, you know, we're having a conversation and he's not listening to me and we're walking down New York streets, I'll mm -hmm. say, I'm going to sing now. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I'm going to sing. I'm going to start humming. Yeah. Don't even hum. Yeah. yeah so you, you learn to use those tools. Oh, that's uh, so, funny. so how's the real estate videos going? <laughs> I mean, we still are doing them. Are you really like, still I, I'm not there. Like, I, I've actually, like, the best thing I've done in the last two years, I did two months ago, and that is I fired myself from our production company. Oh, yeah? And I stayed on as partner, and I hired a creative director who is better at everything than I am and right. can spend all of her time, time doing it. Right, right. And so um, we still do, yeah, we still do stuff for... Real estate companies every once in a while. It's fantastic. Um, but like, I'm focusing more on like, the comedy and the trying to do this full time and the branding yeah. stuff like and, that. And also trying to like, we want to create content every day. Um, yeah. And it's not always going to be musical, but we want to do something that that is entertaining, entertaining and watchable every day. Um, well, what's amazing is I've, I've been here at the, the Dad 2.0. Uh, I've been the Dad 2.0 for at least four of them, and mm -hmm. um, in the last two, I've been manning the desk here, and mm -hmm. the. The change, even in that amount of time, over pe for people who are making their living, I mean, yours are distributed on Facebook a lot of the time, right? Uh, the one guy is all YouTube, one guy is all Vine, yeah. and they make complete livings doing this, and that is something that is absolutely new. Yeah. So, like I say to people, should you go to college for Vine? Did you study? <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, of course. Yes, of course. Great curriculum. Yes, yeah, so it was a Vine curriculum. Each class was about six and a half seconds long. No, it was like really. It's amazing how things have changed, mm -hmm. and I'm. I'm sure you're as surprised as anybody else. Is that right? Yes, I am. And there was no um, digital like journalism curriculum in college. All right. Um, and and the fact that our family is able to support ourselves, also to help su like support hiring people for our other company, mm -hmm. just through what we put out on on YouTube. And you were mentioning all the different platforms. We really we focus a lot of our energy on Facebook. Right. That's just kind of where the moms are. Mm. Um, you know, YouTube is for the like the dads whose kids are like watching Minecraft, and they come across our videos, and yep. they're like, "Okay, I'm going to watch ten of these, and I'm going to make my parents watch them until they totally. cut their eyeballs out because they're Nine so sick of watching us." Yep. Um, but like it, everything, and everything you're talking about has changed in the last five years. Mm. So you come here every year, and something new is happening. Yeah. Like Facebook wasn't monetizing. They're they're going to start monetizing. I like in a month, right? Yep. Yeah. Like we're on their beta monetization, like fantastic platform. So, like that's going to change everything. Um, a, a year before that, they didn't even have videos, mm. and Instagram didn't have videos, and Snapchat wasn't really a thing. So mm. all of these like these platforms, they just they keep sliding and rotating, and there's no I don't think there's any undisputed one place where you have to be. Not anymore, Notable. it doesn't seem to yeah. be. Including Unless, television, it's yeah. so crazy. No, it's everything. The television is on the computer, and it's all online. It's all on Hulu and Amazon yeah. and Facebook now and all these places. So. You're, you're on a hit TV show yeah. that... The best thing that could have happened to it was that NBC didn't pick it up. Exactly, it's the weirdest. Like it's the weirdest. No, Netflix situation. is a perfect home for it, and yeah. they're able to do things that they couldn't have done on network TV. Right. So yeah, I'm I'm very happy that it's been going two years. They have a season three pickup already. Yeah. And yeah, it's a new platform that no one could have foreseen four years ago, three years ago. That Maybe Netflix two, yeah, two years ago. I don't know. Insane. It's amazing that that's happening now. But uh, I know you spoke. At the conference, you were mm -hmm. part of a, a panel, was it? Or, uh, yeah, it was. There was one Vine guy, there was one YouTube guy, there was a Periscope guy, and I guess I was the Facebook guy. And so. you were the Facebook guy. You yeah. represented the Facebook. Yeah, exactly. You were the face of Facebook. <laughs> so, uh, what was your advice to dads who were interested in uh, monetizing their video content? Well, the first thing I told him was like, don't get caught up on on monetizing it and on views and on cost per million and things mm. like that. I think it's more important that you build like a creative set and like you, if you make content that's entertaining views are are great but you're also much more likely to have like an influencer contract or some sort of deal with with a brand that's going to give you a flat fee mm. to to you know integrate their product into what you're doing mm. um and those are if, if, we're, if we're just talking money those are usually more lucrative than just seeing how many hits you get yeah i mean um and so in order to to get those 
calls, they're, they're not necessarily just looking for how many subscribers you have or how many views you have. Really? They're, no, they're looking for whether or not it is a, a product that lines up with who they are as a company. With you, and and yeah. so the idea is to find your specific voice yep. and hone that and do it consistently and then brands will find you if the yes. if it's a match. And, and, and brands really are finding people yeah. everywhere. I yeah. mean, they're like every PR wing has an influencer network that it's their job just to like cold call people and say, here's $500, can you put this in one of your videos? The term influencer network yeah. did not exist several years ago. No, I mean, it's like no. insane. Yeah. insane. And now it's part of the process. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy. But, uh, well, uh, Penn, is great to have you here. Man. Thank you. Congratulations on all your success in your videos and your Thank family. You. Congratulations and to you. Like, I, I got to go up and watch the end of the, um, what was that? I was, I was, whatever the last episode you're in. So. I don't know. I can't remember anymore. It was years ago, darling. <laughs> so years what else? Ago. Like, do you have like a Broadway background? You oh, is it my turn? Like, yes. Hi. Your, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you all about that in just a minute. Okay. We'll be I'm right back. Off. No, you're not getting kicked off. Yeah. We're kicking off the television. Here, um, take this, okay. sign our sign, oh, yeah, right and uh, I'm going to tell uh, Penn all about my life now while uh, you wait for us to come back. Exactly. Bye. <laughs>